we will head up into the attic and clean up those blocks. Those blocks that we placed earlier for the steps, they can all go. Again, I use logs. You could use whatever you want. I would not recommend sand for this, though, uh, because sand is affected by gravity. And go ahead and stick some torches up here to light it up. I like to put a torch in each of these corners here. And then put a torch in the middle. Uh, just to add a little bit of extra light. I like lots of light. And there we go. The attic is done. Looks good. You can do whatever you want up there. Alright, let's go ahead and start adding some interior decorating. Uh, we want to partition off the mudroom, I guess is what you would call this, where you take off the shoes. Uh, I'm just going to use some fences here, because again, it gives it a nice little Asian feel. And we're just going to put those all the way up to the ceiling. Alright, looks good. Now, let's see, we want to grab some chests. We'll stick two here. You can put them on any wall you want. I'm just putting them on that wall and two here and we'll go ahead and grab crafting table stick that there and a furnace and we will put that right there alright we've got a basic little workstation you could add more furnaces more crafting tables whatever you want it's up to you uh, you don't need two chests you could have more than two chests like I said you turn the attic into a storage area uh, that's completely and totally up to you I am going to grab a couple of signs from my too many items mod here just two and I'm going to place them on this dirt block to kind of make it look like a planter um, I think it looks a little bit nicer adds a nice little touch to it I would recommend it definitely uh, let's add a painting paintings are nice I don't like that guy I don't know why he always insists on showing up but every time I try to place a painting he shows up um, I guess that'll work you get a nice little stallion um, alright let's go ahead and add some furniture in here we need wooden stairs and you just want to place one wooden stair right there and now we got a little chair but it doesn't quite look like a chair yet we do want sides some arms to the chair so just a couple of blank signs and the chair has arms pretty cool next thing you want to do is go ahead and put a wooden slab down right uh, not really right there um, let me just get rid of that really quick and in case you didn't know a pickaxe uh, is the quickest tool to use on wooden slabs alright now go ahead and place the wooden slab right there in front of the chair and the nice thing about this furniture is you can actually run right over it you won't get stuck on it it's pretty cool all right, let's build a lamp to light this room up. One fence post right there and some glowstone on top and voila, we have a lamp. Looks good. Uh we do want a little bit more decorating I think in here. So, let's go ahead and grab a bookcase and stick it right there. But first, I just want to point out you can hide something there. If you're on multiplayer, for example, and you got some extra diamonds, craft them into a diamond block, stick them back there, put a bookcase right there, no one will ever see it. Unless, of course, they're griefing your house. In which case, well, sorry, you know. <laughs> That's about all I can say. Uh, griefing sucks, I know. Um, that looks pretty good. Let's light up the inside with some torches now. We're going to stick one there and one there. And really, that's about all the lighting you need inside. Let's head outside and get some decorations done out here. Uh, you want your shovel, and what we're going to do is dig three blocks wide. Got an extra block there. Don't want that. Three blocks wide, and stick some wooden logs in there. And this is basically a bush. There we go. We got some leaf blocks here. And you do need the wooden logs for the leaf blocks to stay. Uh, at least in 1.7.3. I know 1.8. Um, Notch mentioned that he is going to allow user placed leaf blocks to not decay, which will be awesome. Uh, but for now, uh, this is what we're stuck with. So just go ahead and do that on the other side. And you got a couple of hedges in front. Looks great. Now let's put some bigger ones along the side, just because, you know, the side's kind of barren here. So we're going to do five wide. Right like that, and then three wide in front, and one right in the middle, 
and just fill that in with wooden logs. And then, yep, right like that. And now I'll put a leaf block on each one of those. And then three along the back, one on top, and one in front. And now we have a cool big hedge. Looks nice. We're going to run around to the other side and repeat the process. And there we go, we got another one done. And in case you didn't know, you can get leaf blocks legitimately by using shears on the leaf blocks of a tree. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is create a gravel path going out from the front. I like gravel because it sounds really cool when you walk on it and it doesn't have much of use for anything else. Mine is going to be nine blocks long. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine blocks. And I'm going to fill that in with some gravel. So go ahead and do that really quick alright and the next thing we want to do is put some hedges along the side just to kind of spruce it up a bit so I'm gonna go one two three blocks in and I'm gonna make that three blocks wide just like that and whoops went a little bit too far fill those in with wooden logs and toss some leaf blocks on top and voila, we got some hedges along the path. Looks good. Uh, but it's still just, it's still a little boring. So let's spice it up with some flowers. These flowers are nice. We're just going to alternate red and yellow flowers. Make it look pretty good. There we go. That's a lot nicer. That, that made a big improvement right there. Um, tell you what, it's still not quite where I want it. Let's grab some more fence, and we're going to put some lamps in here, yeah. So what you want to do is stick about three fence posts high, put a glowstone on top, stand on a block, and put another fence on top of both of those. And voila, we've got a hanging lamp, and it looks great. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side. And there we go. That looks pretty good. Um, the house is still a little bit boring, so I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of decoration to it. Now, this idea was actually uh, my girlfriend's. Uh, she had recommended I try this with the house, and I think it looks absolutely great. Um, so props to her for that. And what you want to do is just go all the way around the house with wooden logs or dirt or whatever. It's going to be temporary. Um, just on this level here. Hate those misplaced blocks. <laughs> and just go all the way around. Okay, once you've got that done, go ahead and grab your fence posts and look up at the roof and click. And they will actually stick to the top of the log. Fence posts won't stick underneath the block, so you do need something under them. And that's exactly what these logs are for. Like I said, you can use dirt, you can use cobblestone, any block that is not affected by gravity, um, including leaf blocks. As you can see, I just placed it right on top of the bush, so the bush is going to stay, but these logs are going to go. Alright, we've got that done. Now you just want to get rid of whatever block you put up. I put up logs, so I'm just going to cut them down with an axe. Alright, now we've got that done, and that just looks so much better. It really does. That just adds a whole new level of detail to the build. Alright, let's go ahead and build a little archway here in the front. We're going to want to go three blocks up with fence on either side of the gravel here, right in front of the bush. And then what you want to do is place a block on either side. Again, a temporary block. This is just so we can have something to put our fence posts on top of. Put a fence post on top of that, and a fence post on top of that, and stick a block in the middle, and go ahead and put another fence post on top of those three, and one more, oh, not there, hang on, you want one in the middle, not on the side, let's get rid of that one there, okay, and while we're up here, we'll go ahead and stick some torches up, 
Uh, I need to go one more block up. Stick torches along the top. If I can get over to that one, I don't know. Yes, I can. Cool. All right. And now we'll go ahead and get rid of these blocks. There we go. And we've got a fence kind of just floating up there. Doesn't want to let me grab it. There we go. All right, and now we have an awesome looking entryway. Very Asian, in my opinion. I don't know, what do you think? <laughs> Tell me in the comments. Let's light this house up with some torches. I'm just gonna go all the way around on each of these supports here, except that one there because it's covered by a bush and a fence, and just stick a torch on each one and this will just help prevent mobs from spawning too close to the house it lights up the outside in case you need to leave for something looks a lot better alright that looks pretty good let's head on inside <clears throat> we have the little mud room we'll just take off our shoes here real quick walk up here we've got chest for storage furnace for cooking crafting table for crafting a little bonsai tree and this will not grow because of the block above it <clears throat> and another chest we have a neat little living room with a lamp, a bookcase, so we have some reading material, lots of attic space. And last but certainly not least, we have our bedroom complete with futon. Alright, I hope you enjoyed this build, and uh, I hope you enjoy the house. If you come up with any new ideas, make your own. Uh, modify it, make it look even cooler. Feel free to post a video response uh, or a link to an image in the comments, whatever you want to do. Um, leave a comment. Uh, if you like the video, definitely press the like button. Uh, and you can subscribe to me. I do plan on putting out more of these videos, more tutorial videos. And in the future, I would like to do some sort of user collaboration world uh, where I will build a Minecraft map. Um, the entire world will be filled with builds requested by the users and the users only. None of it will be mine. Uh, all the builds will be my design, of course. I will be doing the building, but all the ideas will be yours. And in the end, I hope to come up with an awesome looking um, town or city or village or, you know, just a random bunch of builds that just look really cool. And uh, I hope you guys can enjoy that as well. Um, <clears throat> and I would like to also do some sort of a multiplayer series with my girlfriend. Um, so you can look forward to that in the future. So yeah, like, comment, subscribe. Uh, this is the Black Belt Panda. And I will talk to you later.